Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I want to review another movie. Uh, this is on... I found out about this... I'm, I don't know, like two weeks ago, and I found it on Netflix. It's the newest Tremors movie. It's Tremors 6, but it's called Tremors uh, Cold Day in Hell. Now, I'll talk... I think I talked about the franchise, the whole Tremors franchise before, uh, when I reviewed uh, Tremors 5 Bloodline about, what, two years ago? And I thought that was a, that was an okay movie. Um, this one, on the other hand, well, first of all, it's a lie. It said cold day in hell, and you expect it to be, and you even see the Arctic, right? It starts out, you know, there's a scene in the Arctic where, you know, they have a problem, it's badly shot with the, you know, in the snow and stuff like that, and all of a sudden it goes back to where Gus's place is, Michael Gross, but basically these movies are like a vehicle for Michael Gross to be in. I mean, he was in an episode of AP Bio. A couple weeks ago, and he was very good in this. But, I mean, this is like his big thing, you know. Doing these movies. And then Jamie Kennedy joined Lon in the last one, and he's in this one, too. Um, and basically, the government's seizing this property. And, I mean, that was all right. Uh, I know Harold Stevens was saying that uh, they had a whole bunch of DARPA references. And those were kind of funny. But most of And then uh, what happens is... He's asked to go to Canada to fight graboids again. And they say Arctic and stuff like that. And then they say, well, it's been really warm this year. So it pretty much looks like a desert outpost, kind of. So that was a lie right there. You expect uh, graboids, the big twist in this one, it would be in the snow and stuff. It was only in the first three minutes. The rest of it's like all uh, warm weather, like kind of like a desert post or something like that. And it... You know, one, it, it just lied to you, first of all. And then the rest of it is like the action is shot very poorly. I mean, uh, and the camera shots are real choppy. Not as, nowhere near as bad as, uh, as like, Gamer or, uh, what was that, Resident Evil Final Chapter, which was unwatchable. But, I mean, it just takes you, at, the, whatever action is poorly done. The one other thing, uh... Well, Michael Gross, I mean, I, I like the guy. He overacts in this one, but that's okay. And then Jamie Kennedy's in there. They're really not giving anything really that funny to say, either Mike, him or Michael Gross. And all the supporting characters are boring and awful. And completely unbelievable, and you don't care for any of them. I like that one girl that rides the plane. Oh, there's all, there's all. I mean, you don't care about any of these people. I mean, it's just like... The Cloverfield movie, except at least you had two people that were halfway decent. And even Jay, I'm not a big Jamie Kennedy fan, but he was okay, but he wouldn't give anything good to say or do in this one. It was just, and it got stupid after a while, and it was just awful. I liked all the Tremors movies. They, they've gone downhill, but this is the first one I really hated. It's poorly done. You don't care about anyone, uh... I watched the whole thing. I don't know why. The only good part is when they blow up. And the part, uh, you know, that that's that's the only thing that they really did well. Everything else, you don't care about anybody in the movie. Uh, I know Tom Steen was saying that DARPA refs said were kind of they were kind of funny, but I mean it didn't really add up to anything because the movie was lousy. I give. Uh, I'm really shocked to say I give Tremors Cold Day in Hell. I never thought I would hate it. I mean, I thought I, would, I thought I would at least like it a little bit. I didn't like it all. I give it a 2 out of 10. Very shocked. Now, with the, oh, the whole franchise... Um, wait, let me go and check IMDb real quick. Let me get some of the dates right. Let me go IMDb, Tremors. Because it's all like... Whenever Tremors came out, the first one, okay, well, that was my review of 2 out of 10 for Tremors, Cold Day in Hell, and this is the more of the franchise. Uh, the very first one came out, I was in the Army in Germany. Okay, well, 1990, okay. Um, and, oh, okay, give 7.1. And like I said, I had, I couldn't, I didn't see it when I was in the military at the the military theater, we had, it was cool. We had a PX, and they made it like a mall, because we were in the Carl Schultz Concern in uh, 
Now Lucius Clay could turn in down. Girl said Germany. And that was like our post. That was like our America, like a three square mile area. And they had a movie theater in there. And I missed it because I had to work night shift. So, I mean, when I got home on leave, it was on HBO. My dad was saying how stupid it was. I watched it. I really liked it. it was, I, I thought the first one to call classic. And then that was it. And then 96, the corner IMDb, it came back. And it was on, it premiered on uh, Cinemax. I think it was right, made right to video. And that's, and that one was great. That was very exciting. I had a lot of fun with that one. And those were both perfect movies. And Tremors 3 came out. I like Tremors 3. Okay, in 2001. That came out like five years later. I remember renting that at uh, Springboro. Video rental store that's no longer there. You know, it seemed like they go down and uh, back to perfection. But I like those ones. They had like the ass blasters that fart and stuff like that. And those were the last three really good ones. I love that one too. It's it very exciting. Then part four came out. And I like part four. I mean, it was like, it, I thought it was clever what they did. They went back in time to the Western, Western years. And uh, it told about, you know, the whole, uh, how the whole thing started. I mean, it wasn't as good as the first three, but it was very entertaining. I liked that one building the uh, thing they made, like a steam engine or something. I thought that was really clever. I mean, I bought that on DVD at Walmart a long time ago, and I remember Dan and myself liked it. And then that was it, and then all of a sudden uh, Tremors 5 came out in 2015, and I thought it was alright. Uh, like I said, Jamie Kennedy was in it. Like I said, one as good as the other ones, and then uh, Tremors Cold Day in Hell came out. They get five points. I don't see how. That movie sucked. I, I, you know, but the rest of the ones were all right. But I like the first three of the best, and that kind of goes downhill after that. We'll see if anyone else hated it as much as I did. I mean, it just didn't work at all. You see. Death Race for oh, okay. Okay, yeah, like, I didn't watch this. I, oh, yeah, someone said I didn't watch this. I endured it. I agree. J, uh, well, it was painful to watch. I've been marathoning the Tremors movie this week, and I'm so confused at how it got this bad. This actually hurt to watch. Well, I don't want to, you know. Don't watch this movie and get ready. Uh, don't watch this movie or watch it get ready to cringe to the lifetime. I, 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 I really hated it. Yeah, it seemed like I won't dream for a teleprompter because I speak so stilted and odd and almost every... Yeah. Yeah, it was an awful movie. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be the last of the Tremors movies. I like the Tremors movies, but... I mean, some people like but I thought it was awful. Let me know what you guys think. Wow, probably the fourth best Tremors movie after three. No way. I hated it. Well, I guess a lot of people like to. Oh, absolutely right. I mean, I, I guess a lot of that. Uh, a lot of people liked it, but I mean, I, I'm sure some people would. But I thought it was dreadful. So there's my review of uh, Tremors: a Cold Day in Hell, Tremors Six. And also talking about, about the franchise. So I hope you like this video. Until next time, bye please. Take care, my legion.